Hello everyone and welcome to our Perp Suite tutorial for ethical hacking. Today we will be diving into web application security testing, focusing on password brute forcing and session token brute forcing using Perp Suite powerful tools. In this tutorial we will focus on the community edition of Perp Suite, a popular tool used by ethical hackers and the, uh, and the security professionals worldwide to identify and exploit vulnerabilities in web applications. We will provide an overview of the Burp Suite interface, demonstrate how to use the Intruder tool for password brute forcing and analyze session tokens with the Sequencer tool. By the end of this video, you will have a better understanding of Burp Suite and be one step closer to perfecting your ethical hacking skills. Before we begin, a quick reminder, always ensure you have proper authorization before testing any web application. Let's dive into our Burp Suite tutorial. In this section, we will take a look at the Burp Suite interface and get familiar with the various tools it offers. Burp Suite is designed to be user-friendly and efficient, allowing you to navigate between different tools with ease. Let's dive into each of these tools and understand their purpose. First, let's examine the Target tab. The Target tab provides a hierarchical view of your target web application, allowing you to see the sitemap and organize your testing efforts. You can explore the site structure, add or remove items to the scope, and view detailed information about individual requests and responses. Next up is the Proxy tab. The Proxy tool is the heart of Burp Suit, as it enables you to intercept, view, and modify HTTP and HTTPS traffic between your browser and the target web application. You can control which requests and responses are intercepted, modify them on the fly, and analyze the traffic history. The Intruder tab is where you will find Burp Suit's powerful attack tool. Intruder allow you to perform automated attacks on web applications, such as brute force attacks, fuzzing, and parameter manipulation. You can customize payloads and attack configurations to suit your testing needs, and we're going to talk more about that in the next section. The Repeater tab is a fantastic tool for manual testing and modifying individual HTTP requests. You can send a request to the repeater from other tools like Proxy or Intruder and modify it before resending it to the server. The repeater makes it easy to experiment with various inputs and analyze server responses. The Sequencer tab is a specialized tool for analyzing the randomness of session tokens or other important data. It helps you identify potential vulnerabilities related to weak randomness, which could lead to session hijacking or other attacks. We're going to talk also more in depth and more details about this tool in the next section. The Decoder tab is a versatile utility for encoding and decoding data in various formats, such as URL encoding, HTML encoding, Base64, and HEX. This tool is useful when you need to manipulate or analyze data during your security testing. Finally, the Comparer tab allows you to compare two pieces of data side by side. This is helpful when analyzing differences between server responses or identifying patterns in data. Now that you have a good understanding of the Burp Suite interface and its various tools, we will move on to demonstrate how to use these tools in real-world web application security testing scenarios. First, let's focus on the Intruder tool. Intruder is a powerful tool for automating attacks on web applications, such as fuzzing, brute forcing attacks, and parameter manipulation. We will begin by sending a request from the proxy tool to the Intruder. Once the request is in the Intruder, head over to the Positions sub-tab. Here you can define the positions in the request where you want to insert payloads. Burp Suite will automatically suggest positions for you, but you can customize them as needed. For our password brute forcing example, we will clear all positions except the password field because that's the field that we're trying to actually brute force. Next, let's configure our payload. In the payload subtab, you can select the payload type. There are several payload types available, such as numbers, dates, character substitution, or custom lists. 
Each payload type serves different purposes, like generating a range of number for testing ID enumeration or creating dates for testing date-related vulnerabilities. For this, uh, for this demonstration, we will use a custom list from a file of common passwords for brute force attack. Once the payload is set, go to the Options sub-tab to configure other attack settings like the number of threats, the attack type, and any necessary rate limiting. Now that our attack is configured, let's start the attack by clicking on the Start Attack button. You will be able to view the results in real time, and Burp Suit will display relevant information such as response status codes and times. Keep an eye out for any anomalies, like a shorter response time, or a different status code, which may indicate a successful password guess. Now let's move on to the Sequencer tool. Sequencer can help you analyze the randomness of session tokens or other sensitive data. To use the Sequencer, first intercept a request containing the token you would like to analyze and send it to the Sequencer. Now in the Sequencer tab, Click Start Live Capture to begin capturing tokens. You can configure the number of tokens to capture and customize the requests as needed. I always like to customize where the token is exactly in the request so the so Burp Suit will know exactly what to look for. Now, once you have enough tokens, click Analyze Now to review the results. Sequencer will provide you with various statistical tests and graph to help you assess the randomness of the data. Lastly, let's discuss the decoder and comparer tools. Decoder is useful for encoding and decoding data in various formats. For example, if you encounter URL encoded data during an attack, you can use decoder to convert it into a more readable format. Similarly, if you need to send an encoded payload, uh, Decoder can help you encode the data. For instance, if you want to test for cross-site uh, scripting vulnerabilities, you can encode an XSS payload using HTML or URL encoding. Now let's look at the Comparer tool. Comparer is helpful when you need to analyze differences between two pieces of data, such as server responses or payloads. You can compare data in two models, words or and bytes. Uh, words mode highlights differences in text, while bytes mode show differences in the binary data. This is very helpful if you're looking in differences for differences in the binary data itself and not on the text level, which could be half of the data and not all of it. Well, folks, we've come to the end of our Burp Suit tutorial for ethical hacking. By now, you should have a good understanding of Burp Suit features and tools, as well as how to use them effectively in web application security testing. Remember, as ethical hackers, our goal is to identify vulnerabilities and help to improve uh, the security of web applications. Always ensure you have proper authorization before testing any application and follow responsible disclosure practices. Before we sign off, here's a small joke for you. Why do hackers prefer Burp Suit? Because it helps them digest web applications more easily. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future tutorial, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more uh, cybersecurity content. Thank you for watching and happy hacking.